Hey everyone. So it was suggested to me to do voiceovers instead. I've always thought about doing voiceovers over these because all I have is just game audio. Because these were recorded with the Xbox game clips. So I'll just voice over them for now and that should be a little bit better than just pure game audio. So, uh, two, a bunch of these, these ones here are just going to be Apex and Buck Out. I'm so impressed with my fact that I got this good of an arm on the guy. I always hoard uh, grenades and thermites and uh, arc stars. I always hoard them, but I just lob them. Uh, that's usually my load out there, the R301 and the R99. Those are just my two favorite guns. I always run those. Right now it's me and a friend and a random. The the random's the one playing the life fight. My friend's playing Caustic. Uh, ever since Octane came out, I went from a Caustic main to a Octane. Main. So, and I didn't. None of my other friends were on at the time to play with us, so we just started playing the randoms in this match. And right now, the team we're fighting, uh, they all have exotic armor, and we just have purple armor. So, yeah, we're kind of having a hard fight for us too. Yeah, you can see there that they have a of armor. And I'm really weak. But right now, the main the main person that's going to be able to do a lot of the pushing is going to be our life. What I primarily do is I just I'm just going to sit back and hide behind this crate. And thanks for our lifeline for taking all those bullets. I was able to just run up with my R99 and take the kill. But it doesn't matter. We're both we're all champions in the end. I do like Apex. Apex is a really good game. I personally Champions. like it. But yeah. But yeah, I went from a Caustic's main, which I really love Caustic. Caustic is such a good character. Yeah, his hitbox is huge, but Octane is just really good right now. And this one, it's just me and another friend. Uh, I'm not very good at Call of Duty uh, Blackout. I'm garbage at it. But the one thing I did find very fun to run around with is this is bag of money. Apparently it's just during uh, this, like, since it was like St. Patrick's Day, during this gameplay, uh, there was just bags of money that you can get from leprechaun pots. And so my plan for this was to take this razor wire and drop it around like this. I am so lucky that Cluster Grenade did not land on me. And so I just run in here and beat people's faces in with a bag of money. I am so happy that worked. Uh, this is just being two, just two randoms. We, uh, I don't know, I don't know either of these guys. This was just a random match we played. Um, but it wasn't looking good. There's still two other squads remaining, and my teammates weren't exactly the best, uh, at playing. But they're okay. They're decent. They're pretty good players. Uh, me being lifeline definitely helped out the team. If you get a good lifeline player, you get a, you get a solid team. Cause you, having a good healer will uh, definitely take your team pretty far. But right now, our Gibraltar and Bloodhound, they're pretty good. The guys who are playing these guys are pretty good. You can see there I have lag. I just got... For some reason, my, my internet is just going bad. But occasionally it's good, and it's not... And it's not too bad, but it's good. Good, bad. The bad, good. H however you want to put that. Um... Occasionally I get drawed from games, which is not fun at all, but a lot of people experience that type of lag. And I know a lot of you are probably mad that I'm still staying in Storm, but I just really wanted to loot that body. And I got worried about dying in Storm because of my lag. Because it, I, because the first med kit I got off, I thought I was going to die to it before I could get it off. Um, my team is looking pretty good right now, but like I said, if you get a good lifeline, you'll be fine. You'll, you'll quickly see the battle changes immediately. What really, what I, what I think really makes the lifeline really good is the fact that she deploys a shield with her drone that allows her to continue to heal. Like, the shield isn't too broken, 
because like a lot of times you can the shield is just straight up eight, right right there like if, you, if there's like a little if someone's healing uh, with lifeline and there's like a little ridge then you can like look underneath you there's my lag you can look underneath the shield and just shoot up like the shield is still out but you can just shoot up through the shield and a lot of people will just like jump over or run around or hop around you know because it, it's just a shield that just sits there it doesn't move it just wherever it deploys is where it's deployed and it's not a very big shield either and so right now me and my teammates are looking for the last team we thought, well I thought, I don't know what they thought, but I thought there was more than one person over there. That's why I'm hesitating to take my shots and I'm using my Peacekeeper with a, uh, with a charged attack right now. And I'm not taking any chances, but that hit right there tells me he has no shields, he's low on HP. So I'm like, screw it, I'm gonna rush him. And he's the only one been shooting, so he doesn't have any teammates. So I'm just gonna run and go fast. <laughs> I love the Peacekeeper, but I also really hate it. I prefer the EVA 8 way over it. Way over the Peacekeeper. Uh, this is just... So, this is just me and my friend, and we did have a random with us, but he left because he, he thought we weren't going to make it. So me and my friend kept playing, and then it was just me and this and this other team. And then there's one of them. Um, the entire time, I think... I'm thinking there's an entire team, but... It's just me and this Octane. So it's a one-on-one -on -one Octane, and my friend's like, Oh, who's the better Octane? I'm the better Octane. I play him so much. The R99 is such a good gun for Octane. Octane is just a pusher. You need a gun like R99 for a pusher like him. So this is this is another match with me and my friend from the last video. Uh, it's us playing Call of Duty, and we're currently fighting a team. <laughs> There's the incoming fire. Um, so the reason why I left the trees is because I'm trying to pull back because storm's right there. We're wanting them to come to us, but we can't hold it because a fear of other teams coming towards us because enemy fire, people are going to want to come and do a lot of fighting. So I'm running the sparrow because I got it out of supply drop and I wanted to give it a shot. And so now we finally pull back. The, the helicopter back there, we took that. That's the hel that's the helicopter from earlier on the match that we had. Right now the enemies currently think that we're still by the two barricades. That's why that guy's looking that way. And so I'm looking over there towards these guys, trying to figure out what's going on. And then I hear footsteps. I don't know if it was my teammates or it's because I actually heard someone, but I thought there was someone over there. And then this happens. This is just a straight up jump. I can't move my aim. All I can do is look straight down in this position. I can move, my character can move, but I can't do anything else. And I, I'm relaying this to my teammate. Like I'm telling him like I can't I can't move my guns. I I don't know what's going on. So I'm trying to figure out if it's like my controller there. I'm trying to figure out my, if it's like a battery is just not fully in. Or what's going on? Uh, I'm pretty sure this was just blackout shitting on itself. Um, the, ra the reason why the razor wire is not hurting me is because it's my razor wire. Um, so I'm just trying to figure out what the hell's going on. Um, my teammates, my teammate is understanding. He's like, "Okay, I get that." And we go on to lose that match because I couldn't do anything. Uh, this here is one of my most favorite parts in Apex so far. Um, by far one of my greatest achievements. So I'm going into this landing with these people, and I find two triple takes out of this airship. And I'm, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try to help my help out my friend who's uh, going over there, trying to get a gun and stuff, and I can't hit for shit. And my other friend, he's getting lit up. I find a longbow in this one. I found three snipers. So I figured I'd just swap out and take the longbow. I ain't hitting shit. I ain't hitting anything right there. Uh, my friend came back. He probably found a gun out of that crate and he's going to push with me. So we're going to go try to get our friend back. Because there was three people over there. And so we push up. All I have is a sniper, so I'm trying to stay a little bit far back. 
taking that life line. She's focusing on a knocker with a sniper rifle. I'm not very good with snipers, keep that in mind. Wraith is trying to revive her, open the door, she freaks out. Binger with a longbow. I'm I'm bad with snipers, but I'm not too bad. So right now I'm healing up because they both are not, so his teammate their teammates are nearby. I didn't realize the Pathfinder was right there. And I'm pretty sure he was trying to grab him. Thank god he missed. And I land all three shots and freaking put him down, kill leader longbow. Immediately after this, we die. <laughs> Another squad rolls up and just murks us with no problem at all. Because all I had was snipers and I, I didn't have enough time to reload my guns and my teammate is, was already half dead. And this is just a little end card. My, uh... So I'm going to do more of these voiceovers for all these things to see if it's like a little bit better. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll put on the camera sometimes. And my parachute is not here. I'm flying at a super speed. Thank you all for watching. See you next time.